and this is the um, um, blood moon reading for um, the year 2019 okay um, if you haven't um, seen the year reading please go back and connect um, please go back please go back and connect with the channel okay um, and look for your sign and listen to the general readings because um, January 28th January 20th 21st between um, the 20th of January 2019 and the 21st um, and some places in the world the 22nd um, there is going to be a blood moon now people um, it's gonna be a shift it's gonna be powerful um, if you're a Christian and you believe in the Bible and you believe in the churches um, you can read it in Revelation uh, Amos Luke um what is about to happen um was placed in the bible okay and this is what i'm saying to a lot of people if you had watched um the general reading um one of the readings i gave just um the um what to expect in 2019 you would have seen that i did say that a lot of disaster is coming up okay so all right hold yourself embrace yourself um, January um, 20th to 21st between January January 2019 um, 20th to 21st or 22nd there is going to be a blood moon February 19 there's going to be a blood moon March 21st there's going to be a blood moon okay all right if you haven't wake up from this you need to wake up now okay you need to understand that there is a shift that is about to take place on this planet but we now between now and um and march there is a huge shift that is about to take place on this planet okay so it's either you're ready for it or you're not ready for it but it's going to be coming um this shift and these three blood moons it has been like a vet this has not happened that uh, I, I think maybe the oldest person who is a hundred or so have seen three blood moons after each other people what this is saying is that something um, um, expect um, earthquake hurricanes flood tsunamis is going to be happening okay all right brace yourself because I'm going to show you something to help people to understand what exactly is about to happen and I'm going to do it in the simplest simplest form because sometimes I look back at my reading and my reading was very very um, um, powerful where um, some people first I show you with the tarot card I'm going to be showing you guys something with the um, the Siri the Syrian um, the Syrian star sea deck um, this is one of the most beautiful deck Syrian is also um, on YouTube you can watch them um, Stephen gray gray or something like that he made a movie also so um, you can watch it um, he has been doing um, UFOs investigation for a very very long time okay and um, uh, we don't want and I don't want because I was uh, I know I have to do it I know I have to do it but um, this what I what <laughs> I, I what I saw um, was incredible okay it, it's, it's, it's just incredible and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try and explain it in just lane lanes man lanes man um, version so that people can understand okay all right the energy vibration of the year um, is two plus uh, um, one is three and nine is twelve one plus two 
so you have the energy of the hangman so that is about water that is about um, going within that is about completely finding yourself and that sort of a thing okay and I really want to do this video because I can feel and see the shift what is coming okay it's like for for me this month of January is just going to be it's as if um, my body's like an antenna that I'm feeling whatever is going to be coming up I did tell you people about um, three times one three times two three times three three times four okay and um, I'm seeing a situation where there are some people that is all in on the three 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 now I'm going to give another video about three 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 so I want to clear up that too because you have um, some people who just seems to um, not really connecting really um, I see they did a video and about Wendy and I'm gonna clear up that thing with Wendy also okay all of these things are happening for a reason I did say and go back to um, the message I gave and the new year and the 2019 messages because there is just so much information that was in it okay so we have completed the year 2019 so two it's the energy of the eye princess okay so if you notice from 2000 um the um uh the mm, the um the indians have stopped the mayan calendar okay and uh, since the stop of the Mayan calendar we begin with 2000 that when that was when America had the tape the 2k um, in Europe we change um, from the Gilders to the Europe and all European countries has the same monetary union okay so that was a big shift okay um, this is what we call like shift this is this is how we explain shift when things huge um, things that is going to affect a country place or a continent that's a shift that's a shift okay um so um in 2000 man calendar didn't go any further because they were like we don't know what's coming after this because whatever is coming after this we are not seeing it we can't see in the future okay now you have to realize that our civil civilization was made up of different different uh, um star seeds okay from different universe you see the pyramid um, you see the cover in um, 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 North America South America all of these structures the Grand Canyon um, in Europe in Luxembourg you have uh, the hut in Luxembourg in the middle of the city um, we have in Germany um, all these crystal um, um, you know there is so much things look at Germany comparing to the rest France each and every country has just something very special but I think the most beautiful thing is the hot in zoo um, in Luxembourg in the in the center of Luxembourg there is a flame that the light keeps on burning after the Second World War and that light never goes out and so for people who have never been to Luxembourg Luxembourg is one of the richest cities um, countries it's a little bit it's a little country between France and um, Switzerland and um, the name of this is Luxembourg I, I'm sure a lot of people are aware of the name now what is so beautiful is that in the middle in the center of the city there's a hut okay so you can go on the stairs like 30 foot down okay now going back and connecting and um, as star seed we know that a meteoroid had landed and that's why that hot is in Luxembourg now not a lot of people know um, about why that that sink so what they did was to basically build steps down into it it's, it's one of the most beautiful things to see because 
um, you're like 10 feet um, in the hot and it's like a park down there okay I, I that's one of my um, yeah unbelievable places to see in the world because that trust me I've, I have seen like most of the world so um, I've traveled extensive um, but that was a meteoroid but coming back to what is about to happen in this year is something that is unbelievable because I'm gonna show you a simple form let me break it down simple so when we change the shift from the 19th to the 21st century we have 2000 so it's the eye princess now what happened in 2000 um we have to, uh, the the 2ko and uh, people were in panic because the computers were gonna shift and blah 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 and then we had the euro the shift of the euro the changing for all European um, countries to have one unit one monetary unit okay so that happened in the year 2000 okay now um, two is the energy of the eye princess and this is why tarot cards are just tools whatever information that comes um, depends on who the person who is given the information they can read from the book but it depends on um, if they're channeling and that sort of a thing now I, I do channel so that will come up now with the energy of the eye princess what is happening is that um, two is the first number but it's 20 so it's 2000 so it's judgment what is the ice princess it's all about intuition it's all about you feeling it's all about teaching you to feel and it's all about hidden secrets now judgment is 20 okay so you have two and you have 20 what makes up 20 two and zero zero is the full going on a new journey okay so the full is a beginning and I have to do it in simple forms because if I if I explain this um, I don't think a lot of people so I a lot of people learn and feel better just by um, using cards and that sort of a thing and that's why I think a lot of people listen to tarot cards and they like to see the cards because it connects with their brain and then um, they can basically um, understand what is going on and some people just learn differently and that's just something if you're um, normal some people just learn differently so that's why I um, if you notice in my read and sometimes I show the card sometimes I show my face and I am trying to let people understand that sometimes just using the card is just going to be best okay okay so we have um, the energy of the year which was the angman so again Two um, um, plus one is three plus nine is twelve, which is the energy of the angman. And the energy of the angman is always you um, trying to find yourself, trying to um, find out something, trying to understand what is going on, trying to connect with yourself and what is going on. Okay, and I'm doing it in layman's phrase. So let's say this is the year 2019 because it's uh, um, 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 9 okay all right so what builds up 2019 okay so because this is 20 and this is 19 19 is the Sun so what is happening is that there is going to be judgment okay um, I'm trying to get the lightning because the cameras make me look so dark which I am not okay so um so 2019 is this year so it's judgment plus the energy of the Sun okay now this judgment is a water energy this is fire okay so you have water and you have fire okay so we're gonna break this down and I'm going to show you what I'm what I'm getting at now if you break down this number which is 19 you get 10 because 1 plus 9 is 10 the wheel of fortune 
so what this is saying is that it's a karmatic thing it's this things that come in from the past it's returning in the future okay so this event has to happen okay so the wheel of fortune is is the turning of times it's, it's as if time is turning it's moving it's going faster but um certain things has to happen before um it's it's, it's as if you have to go through a bad period before you get the wheel of fortune okay because the wheel of fortune can comes up but it can also come in the reverse form so it depends on how it comes now how you learn this and how you see what is happening basically which I was blown away from um, when I um, when I was researching it and I was like okay if nobody understand this then I can't explain it um, in lanes man in name lanes <laughs> lanes man tell. okay so when is when is when is um, the full moon the the blood moon the blood moon is going to affect most of the world on the 20th of January now what is the 20th of January it is judgment what is judgment it's a water element it's a water sign judgment is secrets this is hurricanes earthquakes tsunamis okay all right so wind and water is hurricane and storm and um, earthquake um and uh, um tsunamis okay because um it is wave it is tidal wave it is waking up the dead it is awakening the dead so it's awakening your soul okay so expect something to happen um whether a week or seven days before the 20th of January that is going to affect people um, either worldwide or in specific countries it has to do with water um, it can be um, storms hurricane flooding um, eruptions um, whatever okay but it has to do with water um, um, wave met water is tsunami okay so wave with water is tsunami judgment is the element of water okay and this is January 21st January 20th blood moon okay now no never have we had three blood moons behind each other so um, ladies and gentlemen brace yourself okay um, and I did say in the video before brace yourself because things is about to happen okay so we had some judgment now every time there is a blood moon okay every time there's a blood moon because it's the overshadowing of the heart and the sun okay and there is a blood moon now um it could it could happen that we only have um, like the moon overshadow the, the the sun and that we only have darkness like for maybe 12 hours it can happen this is one of the time that it can happen people so awaken yourself okay um, uh, December 14 there was a magnetic um, an outcast of a magnetic field now what you need to understand is that this hurt there's a lot of magnetic field around the hurt but it, there's also magnetic field within a space okay there are different types of magnetic field within a space now over the hurt there is a magnetic um, a magnetic um, shelf over the hurt that protects the hurt okay now if that magnetic grade goes down the whole planet or um, um, we in North and South America could have like darkness okay so um, there is a lot that is happening at this moment this can also say and if you look closely at the card what it is saying is the resurrection of the dead okay so this can be your star seeds um, 
star seeds coming in what you call UFOs okay it could be an invasion of star seeds um, and this is what we need to brace ourselves for this year because I did say it and this if you look at it it is something coming out um, and, 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 and this is just going to be so powerful okay so brace yourself for January 20th to 21st because I'm feeling it's as if I have my um, body is like I can feel okay I I feel I know when people are lying like I feel I know when I step in a place and and I'm like okay I gotta get what I'm doing and then I'm just gonna walk up very quickly um, um, I can feel the energy and um, like some people who have art right to Spain before the rain and the thunders you always feel it well that's how like my body take up this and then, like um, before 9-11 I had that and um, before the the Paris bombing I had that um, I seems to be um, it's as if depression takes me over because I know um, the shooting in Fort Lauderdale I never ever want to fly to Fort Lauderdale Airport no matter no matter how cheap the ticket is from Europe I never I, I, I just and I knew something and 2006 when 2007 when it happened I was like okay I stopped second-guessing myself so um, since December that is what I have been feeling um 14 December there was an, a magnetic grill um, because the energy has magnetic pulse okay and there was a grid that went down and there's a lot that you people have to be awakened be prepared for this because if this grid goes down that means we don't have any light we can't um we basically can't do anything everything is is at a still stand okay um so um do like um 2k uh buy buy the 10 things um get gas make sure you have extra gas buy food store foods up because three blood moon behind each other ladies and gentlemen wake up okay um, this can be catastrophe okay and I don't like bringing bad news but I gotta tell you guys three blood moon behind each other is not one of the most um, positive energies okay um, this means that the hurt is shifting okay and the solar system that we're in the galaxy and once we have these blood moon especially three behind each other how many times and go back just simply simply I don't want to put any fear in anyone but just go back and think when was the last time we had two blood moon in a year okay it's just a simpler thing and uh, go back and, and read Revelation and if you don't have a Bible Google that shit okay love Google love YouTube Google that shit, love YouTube, love Google. The information is there, people. Go and find it out for yourself, okay? Something is about to happen. Never ever is there these three blood moon behind each other. Revelation, okay? Go and read in the Bible Revelation. It is there, it said it, okay? Um, um purification purification comes in different form so the 20th of January it is judgment okay judgment because this is a water energy it can come as uh, um, um, earthquakes and wave and tsunami okay earthquakes and way and, and and storm is is and here is tsunami okay you have to think about the four elements and this is what I've been trying to explain to people and a lot of people are coming up with with a lot of sort of a things but there's four element okay water fire earth and hair okay now 
when these three or when these two get together a tsunami is made up of uh, the shift of the core uh, of the hurt cross uh, and the water and uh, um, the wave and wind okay the the, 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 the the wind that pushed the wave okay that makes tsunami tsunami is the, one of the most devastating floods can be devastating but tsunami is devastating because you can only um, um, animals will start feeling it because they will start being um, very quiet very still because they can hear it coming so watch your animals and your pets okay so January it's uh, um, you know whatever it is and wherever in the world it is and if you can go and help these people um, you have to do it okay so expect something as flood water um, um, storm um, um, snow storm and that sort of a thing and this is um, a, um, sometime in January so something expect something to happen if it's not small tsunami it can be it can be small tsunami or it can be big tsunami or it could be just snowstorm but expect um, something that has to do with water okay now 20 and 2 okay um, the eye princess is all about secrets revealing of secrets secrets are going to be revealed okay so information is going to be coming out information um, that was kept from humanity is going to be coming out okay go back and listen to my reading it's the same thing one was judgment and, and the other one February um, the year reading one was judgment and one was the eye princess go back and listen to the reading it's very important okay the next um, blood moon the next blood moon um, is on February 19 19 is the Sun so what is this saying fire okay so simply things there are simply simply things um, that you can um, basically understand because this is like pitchy pitchy pal tal um, for people to understand this three blood moons and what it could happen okay now energy for the Sun what does that give energies okay um, so there could be extreme heat on this planet okay um, or the Sun could um, become cold dark okay because they sh they're showing you because it, it fire okay so you have two waters which is going to be significant okay two waters because 20 is made up of two numbers two and zero okay so in other words breaking down the 20th of January it is the I see the I the I princess and the fool okay so secrets are going to be coming out and you're going to be walking away okay um, um, your intuition is going to be pushing you on um, forward in your life in a very very positive way uh, some situation is going to transpire where you're you're going to be realizing that I gotta leave I gotta do something I gotta leave I gotta do something I gotta understand what is transpiring in my life okay but whenever it comes to the blood moon it is the 20th of January 20 is judgment the second blood moon and it's right behind each other this is what I'm afraid of because it's just a couple days between each other this is what I'm really really afraid for ladies and gentlemen is that um, the blood moons are coming and I'm, I'm it's not that I am afraid I'm afraid for humanity um, for what is going to be happening and if you're going to be seeing it and if this is going to be happening now there's a lot of things that is happening to us at this moment February 19 the Sun what is the Sun 
the Sun has to do with the, the fire sign the fire element what disaster comes in fire and this is what I was saying to people um, there is something about electrical fires so it could be the grid um, that the grid is going to be down and there is no light okay um, so there's different um, aspect and different things because remember that we live in a multi-dimension earth okay we, we are living in a multi-dimension earth and um, we need to understand um, what can happen okay um, the Sun think of the Sun when you think of the Sun what is this it is energy it is what um, it is our source the the force and the source of all things so you need to understand from that point of view if the Sun doesn't shine what happened that sort of an element that sort of a situation and that is good okay now March 21st March 21st again 21st <laughs> okay <laughs> so um, I I always say to people just numbers 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 have information what is number 21 okay what is number 21 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 3 is the in the um, the Holy Trinity it is the mind body and soul okay it's the oneness it is the um the ick the you um the mighty i am present okay but it's the connection of oneness because it's the omega the the oneness of who we are okay so um it's it's, it's unbelievable and what is 21 the end and a new beginning okay it's, it's I don't you know I don't know if you understand that what is happening so let's give it as plain mental just in the tarot cards judgment and this is the, the blood moon on the 20th of January is judgment then we have the energy of the Sun um, the full moon the blood moon 19 February okay and the world and that is on the 21st of March the 21st of March the world the world is the number 21 cards 2 plus 1 is 3 again we are dealing with the mind body and soul but we're doing dealing with Omega the oneness of who you are the source of all things so what they're saying is judgment there's going to be a judgment call and with this judgment call in February you have a choice to make which this energy could be um, another disaster that is coming in but it's coming in in the form of fire element now in the Bible they said that there will be um, a chariot that is coming out of the sky now that is the Bible like, you know somebody needs to rewrite that book and just tell people in plain um, young and nippical as we said in Dutch um, exactly what they're saying because the Bible is just going but go back to Revelation go back to YouTube um, tip it in what is the significance of this three blood moon what effect does it have on us as humanity because something is about to happen okay and and this is said I don't give and I you know um, uh, I'm supposed to be a prophecy because um uh, in the um, in the book um five plus five is the prophecy on the card that I fall on there um in the birthday books and I still don't believe in to predict things I don't know why um but it is significance for you people to understand that 
whenever three whenever one blood moon comes okay you you feel the shift on this planet go back and think in 2000 was it 2000 I think so when the tsunami um because I was in New York I remember um, we saw it on TV the day it was after after Christmas and we flew from Florida to New York and I mean remember try and remember was it a huge full moon that happens on that day everything that happens to the moon and the Sun on this planet as an effect of us on us as humanity but on the planet itself and um, the uh, magnetic magnetic um, magnetic uh, um, connection of this planet is a shift so okay think about um, uh, okay you have a little balloon and you're going to be filling it up with water of course it's going to get big 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 but the more it expand it has the property of uh, um, bursting okay so think of the blood moon like this you get one blood moon in every two three five years and now you're getting three blood moon behind each other and on the days that they're coming up that is what we need to understand because these blood moon is going to be affecting each and every one of us okay so this is like um, yip and Yannicka Tau <laughs> um, um, simple um, this is this is like a simpler way to explain what is what these blood moons is about um, which is the is the, is the um, smallest form that I can break it down in um, for you guys to understand but but a shift is going to be coming okay um, in revelations because I was doing the research and all of this and in revelation they're saying uh, um, um, ton um, uh, lightning of fire is gonna be falling from the sky now you know please write rewrite that book I mean you know it can only be bombs and that sort of a thing but I, I there is not going to be war um, it could be as I said star seeds are coming in and that sort of a thing because um, a lot of people do not understand um, um, the whole aspect of werewolf okay and uh, people think and, and and think that it's a myth but in old um, European countries um, there was um, werewolf there's still unexpected animals on this planet that we can't explain they don't come out okay um, um, there is also um, this family that walk on all fours and they're humans just like you and I and their feet are long and they walk on their hands and they're in Turkey so there are there are different um, and, and there are different species and that sort of a thing and the people are just like you and I but they walk on all four um, and and this is on YouTube to see so um, I always say to people research things that I'm saying because whenever you research you're not only getting the information for myself but you're researching it and you're finding it out and you're seeing it also for yourself okay so in the olden days in some European countries um, the existence of a wolf who has the effect from the moon does exist but it's out and this is what I say to people that a lot of mysteries a lot of universal mysteries are written in the form of nursery rhyme or things that we say or that sort of a thing okay um, as if um, like when we say oh um, you age graceful like um, 
like a young wine a young you know you, you ate so graceful like a 10 year old wine or something like that but it's the way you said it so um, what you're basically saying to the person is that they age gracefully okay like a nice good 10 years um, 10 year old wine um, you know and, and and it's the way you say it but they're aware in each in each word and each sentence is there the mystery what you um, need to it's, it's, it's as if okay there is two people and uh, um, uh, they come from the comfort therapy you know whatever therapy um, marriage session and as a therapy you're think you're listening to both of them because both of them are there and I think that is the worst thing that a therapy and a consultant can do it is just the worst thing to put two people who are not getting along um, together in a room to put them together you can't do that because they're still going to clash with each other not because you're there but then when they go home they're gonna say yeah you didn't say this and you say this and it wasn't it's always the best way to do um, partners therapy is to see both together and then one and the other one and the other and then you can at the end of the therapy session you bring them back together so that they can face and see what they wrote but having two people who are not connecting at home or wherever there is no way that this relationship is going to work it's always um, to do therapy with one person different and two hours therapy is just so much because a lot of people can't take in people have 10 minutes if you notice my videos I always keep my videos very short um, they have 10 minutes um, 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 tight span of thinking okay so I was reading something and the lady said I, I have to watch your video over over and over again and I think oh okay she's a star seed because um, she watch it once and then the second time she's gonna pick out the point and then the third time she's gonna pick up and then the fourth time so and this is why I started to do video readings because when you're doing readings for people their 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 time span is only 10 minutes okay a normal person time span is only 10 minutes okay so um, if you find out that your time span is less than 10 minutes then yeah um, you know that's that's how the cookie rolls it, it can it can so don't don't feel bad about that so what I want to say is that I'm trying to do it and um, an easiest thing to let people understand that um, something and, and the Bible is just like that the Bible is written in parables but the information that I'm saying to you guys now can be um, can be can be found okay and I will show you this um, I will sh I will I will show you this in an another video so um, be prepared be ready it's gonna be something okay namaste